राधे हे राधे हे राधे हे राधे हे
we will make a program for day after tomorrow on Thursday, Friday. Friday, and he will help us, and we will go. We will go there. So now I want to hear something, and after that, if there is a, there will be time, then I will explain some. Chaitanya Charitamrita lines of Raya Ramakrishna, which he has begun, began. So I request him to speak something. This will be given to him. I'll try that. not to be too long, so we can hear the Chaitanya. The Chaitanya. No. I was looking for Jadarani probably. Oh, yeah. oh, Jadarani, yeah. you should come here. Why you? Because she doesn't have to come. It's just. Mm -hmm. You can come here. That's good. <coughs> so. Uh, you can also help me. Was the, was the Boston Temple open when Prabhupada came to San Francisco? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Well, thank you for inviting me, this always wonderful Vaishnava family. Quite logically, we would not all be in this room and knowing one another if Prabhupada didn't come here. We might have met one or two, but this phenomenon is due to Prabhupada coming here with practically nothing and bringing us Krishna consciousness. And in San Francisco, the New York Temple, 26 Second Avenue, was just open. And a few devotees from there, Mukunda and Hari Das and Ray Rama and Hayagriva eventually came with the Srila Prabhupada. There was no deities. There was hardly any books. There was the first non-Sanskrit edition of the Bhagavad Gita. There was no Murdangas. There was a few Kartals. There was no dotis, no tilak. We wore costumes and had dogs and cats outside the temple. And there wasn't even the Chaitanya prayers, Govinda Jai Jai, nothing. Literally, Swamiji at the time spoon fed us Krishna consciousness a little bit here you are not this body was preached we couldn't quite understand it and we still don't understand it that's why Prabhupada still preached it 12 or 13 years later and we didn't ask very, very uh, deep questions, but there was lots of chanting. We did have our chapa beads, although at first they were just large, they were of different sh shapes. They were wooden or uh, not Tulsi beads per se. And so Prabhupada encouraged us to chant. And he would speak but very simply, as we could understand. And he would speak about Krishna and the pastimes in Vrindavan, and it enlivened our hearts. But so much was all new to us. And Prabhupada was translating some books, the Bhagavad Gita, and he continued a mimeographed copy of Back to Godhead. And at first, there was not even a Vyasa Sana. There was a makeshift altar 
And one of the devotees was an artist, and he put a totem pole next to the altar. Did you have a question? No. A totem pole. Uh, he thought the Panchatattva were women and painted them like that, and then Prabhupada told him, no, this painting should be changed. <laughs> and he was definitely father, but in his humility, humility sometimes later on, he would also be like a son too, and say, is that all right? And with complete humility and wisdom, he was able to attract so many sense gratifiers who in the days of uh, the hippies, we were, that was our goal, and uh, we were good at it. And he was able to attract us with his sincerity, and his love, and his expertise in being able to see each person, and what they were like, encourage them in it that way. Jamuna was good in calligraphy. I was doing photography. Uh, I saw that if I wanted to be next to the Swami, I should do something, which is Krishna service. So I began arranging television and radio programs, which meant I had to go inside to the room and have an audience and say, such and such happened. We were going on the radio going on the television. And this happened. One television program, they were all set up, but there was a buzzing, and they couldn't figure it out. They said, why? What is the buzzing? And they all went and followed the wires and went into the machines. It took almost an hour, and then they followed it back to Prabhupada, and he was chanting. <laughs> <laughs> so we used to go walking. And one of the places was Stow Lake. And this was a lesson to me, because at first we all wanted to walk next to Swamiji, and sometimes we were not letting our godbrothers or godsisters get close. And there was a, like that, so I said, well, I'm not going to fight. I'm just going to walk. Well. In this uh, habitual arrogance that sometimes we come from, we have, have a, had our habits, there were some ducks sleeping right next to the lake. So someone came by and said, get out of the way, Swamiji is coming. Get out of the way. And the ducks were sleeping and they got up and they were very grumpy. And they were quacking. And Prabhupada said, as you are thinking they are disturbing us, they are thinking we are disturbing them. So I saw, this is compassion, that you can see every living entity as a devotee of Krishna. And this compassion was displayed many times perhaps when I made a mistake and didn't get a receipt. But you American boys and girls are not trained this way. He would always forgive at the end. And so as a family, he slowly introduced the prayers. He slowly introduced shaved heads, tilak, <coughs> redanga, so many things finally the books. And all the time, from his descriptions, I was thinking of Vrindavan. I would like to go to Vrindavan. Now, as, as we got to be more in number, the family, it got to be harder and harder to have an audience for everyone. Although on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings, Swamiji Prabhupada would let us all come in the room like this. 
Well, the servants of Prabhupada finally said, don't let Gurudas in, because I thought, I can read these books, but I'm not such a great scholar. What I want to do is watch and be with Swamiji and see how he actually reacts to actual events now. Because I saw the analogy of, of Prabhupada being what it was like to be like when Krishna was there. Of course, I'm not saying he's Krishna. We all understand the philosophy. But when Krishna comes and you leave your milk boiling on the stove, it's that phenomenon. When Prabhupada came, or when he looked, or when he did this, it was like the center. And it enlivened and inspired us. So my idea was, I'm going to have as much time with Swamiji as possible. So they said, don't let Gurudas in to see him all the time. Not in a mean way, but just in the way that oh, he's here again. <laughs> and by Chaitra Guru, somehow or other, Chaitra Guru in my heart, Upender would go to the, the, the kitchen, and that's when I decided, well, maybe I'll go and see Swamiji. And they would come back and there was Gurudas again. And so I would do that, and like I say, through the years, that was one of my main uh, ways of becoming Krishna consciousness, to, to have as much time uh, with, with Prabhupada. And it could be Vanya Vopu also. It could be from the presence, or from the philosophy, or from hearing singing, or from thinking and remembering the smarna. That's very important. And that's what we can as a family do, is to remember Krishna, Lord Chaitanya, all these inspiring things on a daily basis and in the holy name. And that will keep us going, keep us enthused. Um, there are many more pastimes, but I think I will leave that to the possibility that we may go on Friday and then we could actually see this place and this happened here, this happened here, this happened here. But he gave us, he brought everything from nothing, then we became more and more interested and to this day, this is what's happened. We are a family together and it is due to him coming and giving us this. And we must be very kind to one another. We must always nurture each other's Krishna conscious service. It's a small family and a wonderful family. So let us help each other to become Krishna conscious. Thank you very much. Shabakaya <laughs> Krishna Hey Krishna, Krishna Chaitanya, Hey Krishna, Krishna
Yeah, it's darker. Rāramananda Sambhad. Since 15 days. And we have come up to Krishna Bhakti Rasabhavita Priyatan Kutya We are explaining this. There are two kinds of bhaktis. Several kinds of bhaktis are explained all. But Sarup Siddha Bhakti is one. Shravana Nukritan Vishnushma. Bhakti is one, but functions are like divided in six before, again divided into nine, again divided into five, Sadhusam, Namkriti, Bhagavasana, Mathurabhar, Shri Murti Sadhayas, Shakal Sadhan Shesht Eip Anchanga, Krishna Prem Janmai Achir Alpusha. The prayojan, the ultimate goal, is Krishna Prem, not Krishna. Krishna Prem. It is prayojan, prayojan is goal of all others. So, goal is one, that Prem, Krishna Prem. But when we Practice it. Then it is called sadhan bhakti, and after that bhav bhakti, and after that prema. As explained also, sadhan bhakti. Sadhan bhakti are of two kinds: vaidhi bhakti and aragandha bhakti, or any apex like Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Chaitanya, any books of Srilarup Goswami, Jiva Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, all follow the Radhanam. They want to take us all in the line of Radhanam. Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Malli Bhakti was there from ancient time, coming through Four Sampadaya, Si Sampadaya, Madhva Sampadaya, Nimbaditya Sampadaya, and Sanak Sampadaya. After that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, he made Bhakti into Bhakti Rash. Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, anyone had not done this. Only Bhakti was going on, like Vaidhi Bhakti. And goal was to achieve Vaikuntha and to serve Lakshmi Narayana. Or to annihilating Brahma, Nirvishes Brahma. That is Sai Jimukti, salvation. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and he cut out the, all the theories of Mayavad. And he established Bhakti Arrasha. And he especially ordered Rupa Shari to explain what is Bhakti Arrasha. He also told Raghunath Das Goswami how a Bhakti can be transferred into Bhakti Arrasha. Both but like so that Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, everywhere in end of the chapter he had written, Rupa Raghunath Pade Jar Ash Chaitanya Chaitanya Kahe Krishna Das. So Bhakti are of two kinds, Shatakun, that is Vaidhi Bhakti and Raganda Bhakti. There are very rare qualified for Raghunath. 
those who fear from death and birth, suffering and sorrow. And for this, for liberation of this, they can do bhakti, but that bhakti will be by the And by path, past associate impressions and now new impressions having the company of bona fide tattva vid, tattva darshi, bhavuka and rashi and can have new impression also. So mixing both they can come in the line of dragon from they will begin from a ruchi whether there is initiation or not for them diksha puras charja not essential those who are coming now beginning from them for them it is essential for haridas taku ray ramananda srivas acharya are like any they don't require all these things. We don't know who are the Diksha Guru of Dashtha. Even we don't know who was the Guru of Sarup Damodar. Because he went to Kashi after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left his home, he went to Kashi, Varanasi. And he took Brahmachar Jasam and something like Swaru, this Upadi of Mayavadi. And when he heard that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has reached Puri, he left everything and came and joined his movement. And he was the first bona fide association of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So here we should not think that Oh, initiation is essential for them. Nothing from them. But for us, it is essential. We will have to take. Someone are telling that we should think that Mahaprabhu is our Gurudev. <coughs> Swamiji is our Gurudev. We don't want any uh, diksha without any diksha. No, this kind of thing. Let him do Supreme. fight. Uh, otherwise we cannot advance because we cannot follow the order of anyone and we will be the thus vagabond like hippies so here we are studying about Raganuga he has told about Archan and all these bhaktis will, will lead us to Vaikuntha. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has not come for this. So Bhakti Rasa Bhavita, I have explained yesterday. Mahaprabhu heard this and told that Yoha, this is also true. That is all right. Not all right, but right. But you should go ahead. He told that Dasya Prem is Sarv Sarva Shat Dhasat. Dasya Prem is Sarv Shat Dhasat. This is our goal. This is Shatya. Parchetanya Mahaprabhu. Yes, it is all right, but. Here he has given a slok from Srimad Bhagavad. Thus a frame is bona fide. This is also some goal of some devotees. So he is telling here, Jannam Suti Matrena Kuman Bhavati Nirmala Tasya Tirtha Pada Kimba Dashanam Avashishya He is telling that 
Dasha pain is hast go rarely because those who have left karma karma jo gyan gyan jo tapasya all kinds of these things that are also left uh, mukti salvation everything and they have been uh, mukt ho chuke liberated then they can have the certain they can they be certain of lakshmi nar other they can anna bilashita sunna there should be no worldly desires sense gratifications nothing even for mukti they have given up all these things like ajami can be called his son narayan and he was dying at time he called his boy his son but he was given grace oh he has called me narayan anyhow this is namabhar he sent at once for vishnu dots like vishnu four handed having chakra gada padma shankha and all and they came and they saved him from dying there were so many things there after that he wanted to touch the feet of this four vaishnavas but at once they vanished and he was in house saved from there he thought that i have not called narayan but yet they have come and saved me from this day so i should now chant narayan om namo narayan om namo narayan so he left his home everything and went to haridwar and he was associated with vaishnavas he took bath in ganges and sat down there and very lovely and affectionately as his lord he began to chant he has some anarth there he has some you know anarth so many anarth vishwanath chakravarti thakur is explained so well in his madhuri madhuri he has he was only shaped from death but not verification of heart was done there. so he went to ganges haridwar and he took bath you to take daily bath and to sit and chant very lovely narayan namo narayan after some yes everything went on sarup brahm went on desiring anything everything and thus he came in the stage of bhava avastha and then they came and he took his fate on the death of the <coughs> head of death and became four handed and the same four came and so agrahay mukti tabe sarva bandhanas tabe se haite pare shri krishna we cannot go directly to vaikuntha first salvation will come but not that kind of salvation salvation from death and birth from all senses great sense gratification and all of us things when our heart will be pure and we have some bhav mood and then prem then we can go there so he is telling jannam shuti matrena kumana bhavati nirmala ta satith pada kim bada samam avashishya to tos 
who are impure, having so many things. But uh, hearing the name of that person, like Sukadeva Goswami, Vyas, Sarukdamodar, Rai Ramanand, and all the servants of Krishna or Ram or Narayan. A man can be purified. His heart soul can be purified by only hearing the name of that person. So, the Dash, the servants of the Krishna, Ram, or Narayan, are of so high level. So, nothing remains if anyone becomes the Dash of Prabhu. So, it is a very high post. Bhavantam, in Srimad Bhagavatam, it has been told for that class of servant of Krishna who are serving Krishna in Dasyaras. What is Dasyaras? He is Prabhu and myself a very low insignificant uh, person like this. So many services like Hanuman. He can what? Meshas, the lotus feet of Ram. He can bring so many fruits for Ram. If needed, he can take Ram Lakshman on his shoulders and fly away miles and miles, like miles he can go. He can go to Lanka and he will burn Lanka into ashes. So many kinds of services. Like once, when Ramchandra returned to Ajutya, he was serving Ram all the day and night. Sita Devi, Lakshman, Bharat, and Shrat, they all became worried. That he is doing service all time and we have no time to serve Ram. So we should make a plan that we should divide all the services of Ram day and night in four and we should try to take one and we should serve Ram whole day and night. So they took eight, eight hours each, eight hours service. Srimati Sita Devi night, in morning Lakhan, after that Bharat, after that Satrupna, likewise. So Hanuman now has no service to go. Willingly it was done. Hanuman went to the four and took the dust of lotus feet of them and prayed that I cannot leave, I will die at once now this time if you will not give me any service of that. So let me give very little, but yet service, service should be given to me, because my life and soul and everything is my service of Tura. They all consulted each other, and then in final they gave one service. That when Ramchandra will take yeah. more, Yawning. Yeah. Yawning. Like no? when a person is tired, then he did, does like this. So when Ramchandra will do like this, yawning. Yeah. Then he used to do like this in Indian system. <laughs> you know? If <laughs> anyone. Then he do. Why? This is ignorance. And also it is so. Because we don't to, going to like to hear this. So, if we have no test, then it will come. Surely it will come. And she will call her mother, sleep. <laughs> so, 
they get this service. They knew that Ramchandra had never liked this. He will not tired, he will not be lazy, and he will not do this. So let so this should be given. Hanuman became so happy that I have some service. <laughs> he sat on the gate of Ram outside and then resurfacing all. He began to do like this. And Ramchandra began to take young. Always day and night he was doing. <laughs> and Ramchandra began to do like this. How? How? So they could not, could not survey a single moment. <laughs> they took the dish of Mahaprasadam, and but he was dying, doing like again doing that, like this. And Hanuman was doing. <laughs> they used to give him a glass of water, but Ramchandra kind of because he was doing, he was doing and he was. Join. <laughs> so day and night he was doing. They become so worried. They went to Hanuman. Why are you doing so? He told that you have given me to serve Ram by this. I don't know when he will take young. So I am doing that. When he will, he will do, I don't know. So I am doing so. <laughs> They went to Ram. Huh? What to do? You then Ram Chandra told that, do you want to that to, to kill me? He's doing all that, this thing. <laughs> I cannot take rest anything. I cannot take water anything. So you should give him any service. Otherwise, I will die, and you will all die go to Hanuman. They, they went there and told them, Oh Prabhu, you should be uh, very yes. kind to me and give him. Take this whole service and remaining, if you want, then we will serve. Otherwise, you will have to serve. Be, because Ram is not so happy by our service. He is happy only to have your service. So Hanuman is like so. <coughs> Always serving him, serving him. So he, Ram, always is happy to. So we should be like this. Not like Sevak. Sevak. Bak means? Cram. Three letters in Sevak. Those who know. The modes of Gurudev, Vaishnavas, or Krishna, without ordering them. They make that service from before, without ordering, without anything. They will see Gurudev is coming from outside. Lips are shut. You must want water. They will take water. According to season, hot or cold water. What he likes, water or any juice. He wants fan or he wants what? He is so hungry and he is so thirsty and he came. Oh, we arranged Madhu Parka. Madhu, milk, ghee, and sugar, honey, and one one kilo everything. Guru wanted to take some water and to have a fan, but they told that, oh, we will do first your archan, and they began to do archan for hours. I, I, I will die, you should give me water. I'll let me do all these things first. This is not service. We should try to know what is more, what he wants. Without any order, then he is really a Shiva. This will be Let's Shiva like. And if you want to more or more, more than them, 
then go to Braja. They are not only Shuddha Seva, Shuddha means pure Seva. They are mixed with Sakh Bhav, Sakh Rash. They will see and know what service he needs. They will do at once more than superior than Hanuman. So these are Shevaks, they are liberated. Whether they are in this world or that world, anywhere. Like Swamiji went, knew that my Gurudev, my Holy Master wants that everywhere Krishna Nam should be preached in whole world. This is the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And everywhere this crimes, the prem should be preached. So he knew that his masters, master, holy master wanted to, that everywhere. This prem and this name, holy name of Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, should be preached all over the world. He did not try to message Prabhupada. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Oh, I will not go, I will. Lacks, lacks, lacks time more superior than that. Oh, I will talk always you. Pretermans. I will not leave you. When you will go to work, he was telling. Oh, I will be near at home. I am getting pushing all of us. I will be. And take a photo, I'll beat you for, for that. I am working with Prabhupada with sticks. These are not. These are walk up without saw. Understand? Without saw. So this should not be nice. After that, if anyone knows the modes of his Gurudev, Holy Master, Krishna, and Vaishnava, they can't have. Sir, more and more superior. Not outwardly. These are outwardly those who are Bhaka. Also some kinds of Sevak. You will order, all oh, bring one glass of water. They will go or anything and they will come. They are second class. First, knowing, no ordering, nothing. They will go. What he wants. And by order they will carry the order. They are of second class. And thirds are, Guru they told that go to England and preach there. And he at once came direct to for New Vrindavan. New Vrindavan. New Vrindavan. He told first and he told. Another thing, he will tell, uh, I will go, but if I will not meet that person to whom I will have to tell this thing, Gurudev told that you should go in there. Gurudev, if it is not uh, comfortable for me <coughs> and helpful for me, then what should I do? I, first you should go. And she there. Gurudev, if I will go and I will fall ill, then what will be done? What to do? And if you are questioning, I am telling you to go. You are telling, I am knowing. And I am ready to, fall, to carry your orders. But I am only simply uh, asking you that if I will go and I will be so much cold having and I will be here. Then what to do? These sevaks are like Baka. Foolish. They cannot carry. They know that this body is myself. And Prabhupada is. Prabhupada. Or any Vaishnava has no like bona fide, like Krishna. No difference in Possession and possession. possession. No. Everything is possession and possession. But they cannot. So here he is telling that Bhantam ev ancharantam nirantaram. I want to serve. A devotee like that, 
Hanuman and more of a more than that in pressure. Rakta, Pitra. They love Krishna, though they are the servant of Nanda Maharaj, but they know that Krishna is my son. And they take Krishna in their lives and they begin to kiss. They kiss Krishna. And they can give their hearts and heads for Krishna. Everything. They know all the modes when he takes food, when he takes milk, when he takes butter, when he takes part thing. And when he wants to go in Vrindavan here and there, they know everything. So Prashantam Ashesh Manorathan Taraha Anya Abhilashita Sundadiya. They don't want anything for themselves. Hey, you know Daruk? Who was Daruk? He was Das of Krishna. Not of Vrindavan, but he was of Dwarka. Not superior life. But yet he was Das, bona fide Das. Once he was taking pen in hot days, and he was finding Krishna. He saw Krishna so happy and so beautiful. He saw at and once and came out from his hand and dropped in earth. He at once began to shy him. Bhikma, Bhikma, Five, five, on five, on me. Uh, five, five me, five, five means five, five on me. Five. I guess so much, so much drink, uh, sinking in Ananda rush for me, and I lose the time for time of rush. So five on me, five. Why I did so? For a moment. The fan was not in his hand, and he could not. So it is for me, my fault. So any Shiva will not do anything for themselves. Gopis were dressing themselves in a very good way. Getting flowers here. Having garland, taking so many ornaments, very big kajal, big, big eyes, very crooked eyes, very lovely and charming eyes of gopis. And upon this they were also doing very good kajal. Why they are doing? Not to decorate themselves, to make Krishna please. A sadha, a das should be like this. He is going to stool, but for five, not for themselves. Stool? Not for them. They sleep as we sleep, but they don't sleep like us. They sleep for Krishna. They, go in, they are going to stool, washing away all these things for Krishna. They are taking breath for Krishna. Everything, anywhere going for Krishna. How it is possible? It is possible for others. We should get up in the morning and do all our things. That, after that, we can chant more, chant and remember Krishna more very happily, without any disturbance. So I must sleep something, like gopis. If you are so happy, gopis are sing, thinking. If you are so happy and very beautiful, then Krishna will be so happy. And if you are not happy, then Krishna will be unhappy. So this must be happy. And sing this, Krishna says that, oh, if I am happy, gopis are happy. And if I am not happy, then go be. So I must be happy. Mm -hmm. 
contest. So this is the modes of Dasya Bhava. Prabhu kahe hi ho hai. Aage ko hai. Oh, you are telling very bona fide things, good things. But even you will have to go some more. Why? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is thinking. There is a very big vow and very high vow between Prabhu and Das. And that is Aishwarya Bhav. That he is Supreme Personality of Godhead and I am very little, little, little Das. So a man cannot take Ram impress. He cannot impress Ram. He cannot Krishna Ram. Anuman. Cannot. The servant of Braja, they can kiss, they can embrace Krishna also. But even there is a vow of opulence. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to bring this vow down and throw, yeah, throw out. That two hearts meet. Even not a very lean and thin vow should be there, of a paper also. Nothing should be there. So he told that uh, in Dasharas there is a wall, very big wall and long and high. They cannot sit on the same ashram on which Ram is sitting. They cannot take any grass of grass in the same plate. Ram and Anuman. They cannot sleep and sit on the same ashan or bed. Because he knows that. And he fears that offense will be done if I am doing so. So Mahaprabhu told that. Oh, go on. Then he told. Rai kahe sakha prem sarva shatva prem is more, more superior than this thing. And it is sarva shat dhasar. This is the more. What? Essence. Essence. Essence of all. And this is shat dha. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also refilled it and he told that it is shat dha. But you should go. Then he told shakha prem sarva shat I will explain it to you. Evening because time is wonderful, so we should be satisfied by hearing only Dasharash and we will explain even from 7 to 8. You should try to come here at 7 because from 8 to 9 it disturbs me. So you should come just some minutes before and 7. And we will have kirtan, very sundar, very beautiful kirtan, as you do today. And after that, I will explain these things. Go, 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 Go